So I've been reading about uh, this idea called integrated information theory, uh, which is a uh, theory of consciousness developed by a uh, Italian neuroscientist named uh, Giulio Tanoni. Um, and what is it? It basically says identifies consciousness with integrated information. Now, what does that mean? So, you know, information is pretty straightforward. You know, there's, uh, you know, it's all the data that our senses collect. You know, this camera is collecting information by, uh, you know, picking up all these, pic uh, creating this pixelated image of me from, you know, the light the particles that are bouncing off me and so on. Um, but uh, if you were to, uh, you know, cut this image in half, uh, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't see the, you know, a sort of integrated inf image of me. You just see half of, uh, you know, half of the image, you know, and a, and a blink and a, you know, big black spot that, uh, so, so, the, so the point is, you know, this, this image is actually not that integrated. Whereas our visual field, you could, t you could sort of block a part of, you know, your, your visual field and it would still be a, a fully integrated image. Uh, you know, you wouldn't see as, as many things, but you, but it would, but the whole experience would be a unified whole. So the idea of integrated information is that it's uh, basically the um, information generated by a system or a complex, as they call it, as they call it, uh, that is above and beyond the information contained in its parts. So it's the sort of network effect of information uh, being integrated in, integrated into a uh, uh, into a larger system. Um, so uh, there's there's a few um, I guess um, so they have this equation for it. It's too complex for me to understand, uh, but uh, but basically they can take the amount of uh, information uh, that of, of a given of a given complex, and then um, uh, be, be able to measure the uh, degree of inform of integration of that information, and uh, and in principle be able to. Uh, use this to uh, come out me uh, with a measurement of consciousness, which, uh, or you know, the, the degree of integrated information, which would uh, be given the uh, we assigned the Greek letter phi as its um, as the variable. Uh, so, so any sort of integrated inf inf uh, information system has a given phi value, and um, it's uh, very difficult to get a a very high phi value. Like the, like the one that our brain has, uh, which which is you know the probably the most uh, complex system ever studied, um, but uh, but almost any given system, even down to like quarks, which I guess come in threes, um, would have a non-zero phi value. So this lends support to a kind of panpsychism, um, where any uh, any given network, any given system has uh, some phi value. There's, there's something that it's like to be that system. Um, so, um, so I found that really fascinating. There's also, th this theory also explains why, you know, there are certain more integrated parts of our brain that seem to be associated with conscious experience, where some of the more modular parts of the brain tend, tend to be uh, unconscious in their effects, even though they, um, they affect the conscious experience that we have. Uh, like the cerebellum is a very modular part of the brain, and it has to do with uh, you know motor, motor coordination. It's a very important part of the brain, uh, and if you uh, have dam suffer damage to it, then yeah, your motor skills will be affected, but uh, your consciousness will still be uh, pretty much intact. Um, so uh, you know, it also explains why you know we have more and less conscious states, you know, such as. You know, being awake and you know, dream sleep and then uh, deep sleep, uh, which is which is basically unconscious. And then there's you know also um, you know the, the what you you know this sort of unconsciousness that if you've ever had uh, general anesthetic, you know I mean some people actually have interesting like out of body experiences during that. But in my experience, what I've had it's uh, you know it's just you're out like a light and then wake up when it's over. Um, so. Um, but yeah, it, it's interesting to me, um, you know, in addition to Tononi, um, one neuroscientist who has uh, picked up on this idea and, and written about it is uh, Christoph Koch, who uh, was a, um, a pupil of uh, Francis Crick and spent years and years uh, searching for the neural correlates of consciousness. And it's really interesting to me that uh, he's finally kind of arrived at 
this sort of panpsychism, and it's a it's a scientific panpsychism. I think I think it's really interesting. You know, the, how you know, he he said that he thinks that this theory is offers the best possibility for a scientific theory of consciousness. Um, so it's interesting to me that uh, you know science is starting to catch on to the idea of panpsychism, which I have long. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you watch my videos, you know I've I've long been sympathetic to panpsychism, and it's really interesting to me uh, that there's there seems to be um, more kind of scientific support for this idea. Um, one thing that this theory doesn't explain, which is also an inter area of interest of mine, is uh, memory. Uh, and if you follow my videos, you might know that I, I'm sympathetic to uh, Rupert Sheldrake's theory of morphic resonance, which is an interesting kind of. Um, applies to um memory kind of what panpsychism does for consciousness which is that you know there's memory that sort of memory per pervades the universe and any, any given sort of self-organizing system will have a morphic field uh that uh through repetition you know um sort of it has the sort of is the sort of presence of the past of that field um that will probably take a lot longer if ever for uh, the scientific community to accept uh, Rupert Sheldrake is still considered somewhat of a renegade whereas uh, Christoph Koch is yeah whatever whether people agree with him or not he's a highly respected figure within the uh, neuroscience community so uh, I just thought this uh, might be interesting so peace <laughs>